Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Due to YouTube's changing quote-unquote community standards, I created a channel called Grumpy Old Fart over on Rumble, a free speech alternative to YouTube. You can see all of my stuff over there, including my political and social commentary, as well as my current events videos. The links to my YouTube and Rumble channels, as, as well as links to let you order my books, are in the description of this video. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. Now, on with the video. Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing a technophobe video. Um, and yes, it's our old friend, Artificial Intelligence. This one is a doozy. Scientists now claim to have made a mind-reading artificial intelligence that can turn brain scans into a readout of your thoughts. And I'm not joking. This is, this is real. I've done technophobe videos on a variety of topics. Artificial intelligence has always been a personal pet peeve of mine. Ever since Mr. Spock from Star Trek made the statement that, and I don't remember the exact quote, but it's something like, computers make excellent tools, but one should not desire to serve under one. That is not a direct quote, obviously, but the sentiment is valid. Machines make excellent tools. They, The very second someone elevates a machine to stand over humans, we will have slit our own throats. That's my opinion. Now, I've done videos on robots on the battlefield. Go and check those out. I dread the day when a machine can decide which humans live and die. This will be the beginning of the end of human beings. Drones are controlled by a human pilot. Artificial intelligence robots have no business deciding the lives of human beings. No. <clears throat> if you're if you're if you're a pilot flying a drone, you can decide, okay, that guy's a good guy, that guy's a bad guy. Okay? We'll shoot that guy but not this guy. Okay. That's a human being is making that decision. When a robot can decide, oh, this human being's in the wrong place. This human being's wearing the wrong color clothing, the wrong uniform. This human being, you know, for whatever reason, is going to die. That's wrong. I don't care who you are. That is wrong. I would not wish that on anyone. Now, I, now, let's 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 be honest. If both sides in a war are using robots to settle their differences, may the best robot win. Knock yourself out. But when, when, when you're talking about human life, artificial intelligence should have no say in the matter. Because it's artificial intelligence. It's a fucking machine. All right, <clears throat> let's get back to this here. This new artificial intelligence can read our fucking minds. Human participants sat in an MRI machine listening to, watching, or imagining a story. The AI was able to read their brainwaves and recreate the story accurately. Scientists used AI to record people's brain scans and recreate a whole story only from their brainwaves. This is non-invasive, which means eventually... They're going to have a, a, a machine that, you know, you walk by and somebody scans you, boom, they can read your mind. If and or when I find out some corporation or even a doctor is using some AI bot to read my mind or my kid's mind without us knowing about it, we're, we're going to be billionaires because I'm going to sue the fuck out of them. That's an invasion of privacy like no other. Scientists are saying that this will help people who cannot talk for whatever reason, and that's cool. As long as it is understood and consensual, then it's awesome. And if that's all they're doing with it, that's fine. My fear, and I've done this, by the way, on, in videos before. My fear is that cops will point out a gun, like a radar gun or whatever, at passing motorists and arrest those with unapproved thoughts. That, guy's a, that guy has, has uh, fantasies of, of, of shooting someone. That guy has fantasies of this. That woman has... She, you know, she's a pervert. She, she fantasizes about whatever. They're and that's an unapproved thought. So let's go arrest them. This is literally the era of the thought police. It shouldn't be happening right now in Colorado. They're making a database of unapproved topics of unapproved opinions that you can be arrested for. It's right now going to be voted into law. 
It's in the Colorado Senate right now. Unapproved opinions. This is fucking bullshit. And now, you don't even have to state the opinion. This machine here will read your fucking mind. They'll know what you think and they can arrest you for it. Because it's an unapproved opinion. It's fucking bullshit. This is, this is not going to end well. Artificial intelligence is going to be the end of the human race. It's just a matter of time. And it, it may not even be the, the, the Terminator scenario where the robots you know go to war and take over. It, human beings may very well just fucking hand over the reins. It's sad, but there it is. It's fucking stupid. Machines that can read our goddamn mind. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm, I'm stating right now, there's nobody, nobody in the world has my consent to read my mind or my child's mind. My wife is her own person. She can say what she wants. I'm sure she didn't want it either, but I leave that up to her. Nobody on the face of the planet has my consent to read my mind. If I find out you're doing it, I'm going to own everything you you own and I'm going to own a shitload more because I'm going to sue your ass for the invade for the violation of the 4th Amendment invasion of privacy. It's the ultimate invasion of privacy. Your thoughts. It's goddamn ridiculous bullshit. Sorry. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all. We elect cookie-cutter politicians every single election cycle. Yes, men who maintain the status quo and do just enough to make us believe the system still works. Imagine, if you will, a president who actually tries to fix things. If you like action, political intrigue, and a righteous crusade, check out my political thriller, The Righteous President.